these are the most epic reactions in NBA history. And first out, we got the time D'Angelo Russell brought out the dancing celebrations from the Nets bench. With his three, it's good. Timeout, Boston. Damn, they were really feeling themselves. But this next one might take the cake. Three up high and off the roll. Oh! Caruso parachutes in. Even LeBron was stunned by that. But not as stunned as Wendell Carter Jr. Just look at his reaction to the Giannis free throw. Said he's always been kind of a shaky free thrower. And air balls the first time. He's got all those muscles. Well, he's got to hit the rim. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, remember in that up and the wall. Now relieving yourself is all a natural process that every animal on this planet does. But farting in a public place? let alone in the goddamn stadium. A warm up before the game, that's something standard he did before game one and game two, and minutes before game one and two, he decided I'm gonna play. Ugh, that's nasty. If we're talking epic reactions, we gotta mention the time Lance Stevenson made the whole Lakers bench go wild. Yeah, mix some love. We just gotta oh, oh, no, 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 no. Come on, Lance, you stepped on his goddamn foot. Now, it's one thing making your teammates go wild, but what about hitting such an ugly free throw? Even you get disgusted. It's enough for them to turn it around. Whoa. Oh, my God. Just, whoa. Oh, whoa. It was oh, wide whoa. right. That's a Florida State play whoa. right there. Oh, my goodness. That's just embarrassing, bro. But, I mean, that's nothing compared to this air ball from Tristan Thompson. shots, 61% lifetime, 51% in his stints with Sacramento and Indiana this year. My man looked like he had a concussion. Now let's take it back to 2009, when Shannon Brown probably made one of the best NBA blocks of all time. From the very beginning, fell asleep there, Brown gives it Yoink. up. Yoink! Got up there, <laughs> took it away from West, <laughs> let him at the top, and the crowd, the crowd on their really feet. liked it. His teammates liked it too. I told you that's a defensive guy. I mean, he is athletic as can be. Turnover, and all of a sudden, Shannon says. But I mean, some just take it too far. Like the time Giannis was pushing it with James Harden. Two-time MVP. See, I, I think this this takes so long. Like his routine, and, and wa interestingly, watching him pregame. He doesn't do it consistently. Sometimes it's five dribbles, sometimes it's six. There's the Brooklyn crowd counting out for the second. I don't think he was the Damn, Harden wanted to smack the shit out of Giannis for taking too long. But I wonder, have you ever seen a ref do a weird dance while calling a foul? Um... Okay. Speaking of weird moments, we got to mention the time Jokic brought out his twerking skills. This up the first of four meetings as Bill Kennedy gets jabbed in the face. I'm sure he'll remember that in the next 48 minutes against <laughs> Jokic and the Denver Nuggets as we are officially underway. Jokic, not here, man. Somehow, it's still not as bad as Devin Booker, who got distracted by the Raptors' mascot and decided to throw him out. Green, this is on the free throw from Book, his first free throw attempt. You see the Raptors' mascot. <laughs> you know, when there's nobody else in the building, you kind of stay Booker, there. By the way, Booker's complaining about the Raptor, the lone fan that's there. <laughs> I mean, one, the Come Raptor. On, Rob, he's been sent away. Aaron Smith sent him away. Come on. I mean, there's nobody in the gym. That ain't right. Come yeah, on, Booker, you bruh, talk about being soft. Now, for this next moment, we got LeBron James hitting one of the sickest buzzer beaters in NBA history. Three point game. Now the Cavs have to go 94 feet. Kevin Love down the floor for LeBron James on target. Turn, sends it. LeBron. Yeah! You got to be kidding me. Life is about do overs. Don't look at it. What 20 apiece you have to be caving, Kevin Love. Anyways, 
we're entering the last half of the video. So we're gonna ramp this up to a whole new level. And what better way to start than the time Shaq scared the living bejesus out of his own teammates. Ahead to Lowry, he's hung up in the air and no place to go. Somehow though, it ends up in the hands of Rudy Gay. He can't finish because Shaq Whoa. was there. And look like another <laughs> one of those Superman flying efforts is coming up again. And you saw the sun <laughs> look at that. clear right now. You know, you, usually, your bench, your bench guys are gonna stay there and make sure you don't get hurt and help you. They said, the heck with this, I am getting out of the way. I mean, who wouldn't run from a 600 pound giant who's running right at you? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never. But I wonder, is there anything more epic than playing with LeBron James and somehow creating a meme with him? Fully engaged, every possession, every moment. LeBron. Ian Austin Reeves having a conversation. Smartly soaking. Speaking of epic moments, we gotta mention the time Travis Scott had the perfect reaction to Giannis. He's Giannis. Giannis may have been called for a trap. Harris and Travis Scott getting involved as well here on the sidelines. <laughs> At least Travis ain't in everybody's face like Kevin Hart. Just look at his reaction to Jalen Brown's air ball. Jalen Brown's at the line here for two free throws. He's played a lot of minutes in this first half. Oof. Oh, yeah. Not pretty for Brown. My guy is a class clown even during NBA games. Now, Kevin Hart ain't the only one bringing joy to the world of the NBA, because a good commentator can bring something extra to a game, especially when they give you one of the greatest lines of all time. And now they switch, and here's Pierce again. A Smith screen, Posey will defend. Oh! LeBron James, with no regard for human life, has given the Cavaliers their biggest lead tonight. Sheesh, I just got goosebumps. This ain't the only time commentators have given us an epic line. Back in 2010, Derrick Rose took off and left Drogic in the dust, and the commentator's reaction was just as epic as the dunk. Lead pass. Lead pass. Whoa! this watch this oh my goodness i want to go higher oh my goodness dragons now we all know playing in the nba means pressure to perform but we can't forget about the coaches and when your team loses the 17 point lead it's easy to have a meltdown You're gonna get a good look on that corner opposite they did a good job there so it's good to get the news with on. james the hood sixth rebound for lebron and who points tonight, a three for the lead. And a foul. There it it's on Washington. Oh my goodness. Scott Brooks is just hurt by that in attack mode. Wall intercepted. Ousman. Foul Washington. Two and a half to go. Now, if there's anything Bill Kennedy has taught us, is to never interrupt him while he's reviewing a call. <laughs> After reviewing the play, the common foul stands this call. My guy was ready to risk it all. You know who else is ready to risk it all? I am. If you don't watch this video right here, 